These are the AirPods Pro 2. Not only did Apple already internally pack these with some decently sized upgrades last year when they launched, but in their recent September 2024 keynote, they announced some incredible new features coming soon via software updates. So if you're wondering whether you should upgrade from the original AirPods Pro to the AirPods Pro 2, well, sit tight because we're diving into everything you need to know. So let's start with the design. This is a bird from the first generation AirPods Pro, and this is a bird from the second gen AirPods Pro, I think. From a glance, not much has changed on the buds themselves between the first generation and the second generation. They both rock that iconic in-ear design with the silicon tips and sleek lightweight stems. But as you'll be able to see later on in the video, it's the internals of this one in particular and the case, which has also got a nice little upgrade. The AirPods Pro 2 case comes with a speaker at the bottom and a lanyard loop on the side. So why a speaker? Well, if you're anything like me and constantly misplacing your AirPods, well, this speaker works by notifying you when the battery's low, pairing is complete, and for those all important find my notifications by playing a sound, making it so much easier to locate your case when it's lost. Trust me, this little tweak is more useful than you think. Previously, it was just the buds that were Find My compatible. Now, if you misplace any components of your AirPods, you'll be able to find them. The case is now IP54 dust, sweat, and water resistant for non-water sports and exercise, so you don't have to panic if it gets a little damp, something the first generation AirPods Pro case didn't offer. And if I'm truthful, the main reason as to why I upgraded from these to these was because these don't work anymore. And what I've always missed on these type of earphones is that ability to change the volume. We've had play, pause, next track, previous track, holding to change between listening modes for what seems like forever with these wireless earphones, but no option to change the volume without reaching for your phone and manually doing it there. Now swiping up and down on the touch control within the stem allows you to adjust the volume. Now let's talk sound. The AirPods Pro 2 brings H2 chip power to the table, and that translates into some good improvements in the audio quality. The sound is clearer, richer, and with a better bass punch compared to the first generation. Now I'm no audiophile, but apart from the obvious lack of bass in the first generation AirPods, I've always thought the sound quality was always pretty good, although at times a little flat. But in the second generation AirPods Pro, these feel a lot more like a live performance in your ears. Instruments feel separated, vocals are sharper, it's just a whole new level of immersive audio. You'll especially notice the difference with spatial audio, and if you use Apple Music's Dolby Atmos tracks, get ready to feel surrounded by sound. And for that further personalization, personalized spatial audio returns on the AirPods Pro 2 as well, adapting sound to the unique shape of your ears using the iPhone's camera scan. Which, if you can get the scanning feature to work, does actually work nicely across all of your Apple devices that you choose to listen to audio on via the AirPods Pro 2. But just how many people will use it? Only time will tell. Now, if you're one of those lucky people with an Apple Vision Pro, then you'll be able to pair these to the Vision Pro for lossless audio with ultra low latency. I would have shown you that feature, but the Vision Pro is just too expensive. one of the biggest improvements with the AirPods Pro 2 is the active noise cancellation. Apple claims it's twice as good as the original AirPods Pro, and I have to say it really delivers. In noisy places, the difference is instantly noticeable. You're basically in your own little bubble, even more than before. But what really blew me away is that transparency mode. I've always loved the transparency mode on the version one to these ones now. Not only does it let that external sound through to maintain your awareness of surroundings, but with the adaptive transparency mode coming soon, it's gonna also help reduce super loud noises in real time. Think of construction noise or sirens, and it's gonna be doing so at 48,000 times per second. So that's gonna make you even more aware of your surroundings without getting blasted by unexpected sounds. I've always been, as I said, I've always been impressed by the transparency mode on the first generation because it sounded so natural, as if I wasn't even wearing them. And the second generation adds to that, making it even better. I'm a big advocate of staying safe while you're out exercising, or in my case, while running, and I've recently transitioned from using the AirPods Pro to the these shocks open move bone conduction headphones purely on the basis of safety. And last week I thought I'd try the AirPods again in transparency mode and for me personally I could hear every car going past people coming up 
behind me, so perfect. On the basis of audio alone, I'd be happy to go back to using the AirPods Pro again for running, although my only issue is that sometimes they fall out. And before you say it, I have tried the four different size silicon tips included in the box to try. Yes, I have, but once they've fallen out, then it could always happen again, and that sort of feeling of what could potentially happen doesn't ever leave you. One of the new features that I was a little bit skeptical with when Apple announced it at their keynote was conversational awareness. How good was this going to be? How aware is it going to be at detecting when I'm having a conversation with someone else? And to be honest, it's pretty good. One moment I'll be listening to music or a podcast quite loudly, and once I start talking to someone, the audio quiets down to become a background track to your conversation. My only issue I have with it is that if you are having a conversation with someone and there's a period of time during that conversation where you're not talking, but but listening, the audio level does actually go back up and all of a sudden you can't hear what the other person is saying. So maybe a bit of contextual machine learning needs to be adopted that understands and adopts both sides of the conversation. Conversations you have during phone calls will improve too with improved voice isolation, especially in noisy conditions, allowing the person you're speaking to to be able to hear and understand you more clearly. And one feature I'd almost forgotten about until I was presented it by Siri is Siri interactions, where Siri will give you a choice, yes or no, as to whether you want to answer a call, be read out a message, or manage a notification. Perfect for those occasions where a simple, audible yes or no just isn't appropriate. So in my case, I received a breaking news alert from the BBC News app and Siri said, would you like to hear the notification? I instinctly nodded yes and Siri read the notification. Alternatively, if you don't want to take the call, have the message read out, or simply just want to dismiss the notification, you just shake your head. Now let's talk about battery life. Apple has boosted the playback time to six hours on a single charge with active noise cancellation enabled. So that's an hour more than the first generation. So if you're someone who travels a lot, say on short haul flights, that's enough time to get to the airport, pop on a short two hour or so flight, then get out the airport at the other end and you've still got a bit of battery life remaining. And with the MagSafe charging case, you get up to 30 hours of total listening time following numerous recharges, which is a solid upgrade and gives you more time between charges, especially on on those longer commutes or flights. It works with MagSafe, Qi chargers, which the previous one did too, and now your Apple Watch charger as well. Super convenient if you're already in the Apple ecosystem. Because of the magnets in the back of this case, no more fumbling around trying to find the right place to initiate the charge, similar to what you'd find on the new iPhones with that MagSafe ring on it. Because once those magnets align in both the case and the charger, you'll feel that secure connection and the case will make a sound to say that it's charging. And thankfully, USB-C. If you're transitioning over from the lightning cable, then this is just another Apple product that has also made that transition. All right, this is the part that gets really interesting. If you didn't see my video discussing the health features on Apple's products, check out that video up there. During that keynote, Apple announced that the AirPods Pro 2 will soon get more clinically focused hearing health monitoring, which will lead into potentially giving you a transformational hearing health experience. And now we're adding profound new benefits that can expand the role AirPods play in our lives. And with this update that's coming soon, the AirPods Pro 2 will help you focus more on your hearing health by analyzing the environmental sounds around you and using machine learning and AI, actively reducing harmful sounds, tracking the loudness of your environment to reduce those louder harmful sounds over time and boosting more vital sounds like voices. And together with the features already available, Apple aimed to make the AirPods more of a permanent health item rather than a fashion piece of convenience. And another one of those amazing health features is a clinically approved hearing test coming soon to these, which will allow you to be aware of your own hearing loss and the ability for these to be used as a hearing aid to boost those sounds that you struggle with based on your own personal sound profile from that hearing test. Plus enhanced real-time insights into how loud your headphones are playing, helping you stay mindful of your own audio exposure. Apple's really pushing towards using these, not just as earphones, but as health companions as well. So what's better with the AirPods Pro 2? For me, it's definitely that better sound quality thanks to the H2 chip, the improved noise cancellation and adaptive transparency mode, which make wearing these much more immersive and in that transparency mode, a much safer pair of earphones to wear. Battery life is generally a make or break for some, so that longer battery life, six hours per charge compared to five, may be more important to you. 
For me, with an aging AirPods Pro first generation, I'd be lucky to get four hours of playing time. So now having six hours with these will make that difference. And with the USB-C charging, I can now, if I don't have a wireless charger, can use one cable to charge both my iPhone 15 Pro and this case. The new Find My capability is in the case together with the built-in speaker and that lanyard loop means it's going to be less easy to lose this case. And those hearing health features coming soon via the software update, as I mentioned before, will turn this from an item of convenience into something that will actually benefit your hearing health. But if your first gen AirPods Pro are still holding up well and you don't care about the newer features like adaptive transparency or that health tracking, then you probably should wait. However, if battery life has started becoming an issue on your first gen, like it was for me, then the AirPods Pro 2 are an easy win. For me, as soon as I upgraded to these, I noticed the difference immediately, especially in the sound quality and noise cancellation areas, but this alone may not be enough for you to upgrade, especially considering that the Gen runs already sound pretty good and those software features are generally available on both of these, except the newest hearing aid features. And cost-wise, it's potentially a lot of money to upgrade for that overall small improvement. At the end of the day, for me, the AirPods Pro 2 are some of the best earbuds that you can get if you've got an iPhone and you're part of that Apple ecosystem. They take everything that was great about the first gen and make it even better. And with the new health features coming soon, they're way more than just a music accessory. And if you're deep in the Apple ecosystem, then getting these over anything, except probably Beats earphones are a no-brainer. Just think of that transition between if you've got a Mac, if you've got an iPad, if you've got an iPhone, that seamless transition between listening to something on one device switching to another device it's it's seamless and before you say it yes I know you can get earphones and headphones where the audio quality sounds better probably for cheaper probably for more expensive than the retail price of these but just remember the package that you also get with these the ecosystem that noise cancellation and transparency mode the find my capabilities just a name but a few what do you think of the AirPods Pro 2 compared to the AirPods Pro are you planning to upgrade or are you sticking with your first gen or have you already purchased these AirPods Pro 2. Just let me know in the comments below. If you want to get your hands on these, I'll put the Amazon links in the description below where you'll often find the prices much cheaper than the Apple Direct prices. If you found this review helpful, press that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.